Well, we will call this take three of this attempt to make this video. I keep getting phone calls and the phone calls cut off the video. So anyway, I'm, I'm here to, uh, I guess, give an update. This, this past several weeks has not been great. Yesterday was an okay day, but today it turned right downhill again. On uh, October 9th, I think it is, I had CT and MRI scans. CT scans looked okay, but the MRI showed that my tumors on my liver, apparently I guess there's three of them now, have all grown in size. telling my medical docs that my body has become resistant to uh, the chemotherapy that I was on. Therefore, I got taken off it after 22 rounds. Um, and uh, I went and met with my Dana-Farber reps, excuse me while I have a little of my Duncan. Went and met with my Dana Farber oncologist on the 21st, and um, I guess the plan is now to put me on an oral chemotherapy called Lonsurf, L-O-N-S-U-R-F. Uh, as it was explained to me, it's not a first round chemo, it's not a second round chemo. For lack of better terms, it's a last resort kind of chemo. And I'm not even so sure that it tries to eliminate cancer cells as much as it just tries to slow them down, providing patients like me with a few extra months. We talked about patients on a placebo, lived about five months. Those taken a uh, lawn surf lived about seven on one trial and I think the other trial it was about seven and nine months. I asked my oncologist if uh, that's what it means to me. I said are we looking at five to nine months? And of course I didn't get a, a straight answer because as I've been told before you know med medicine especially probably medical oncology, is a educated guessing game. And those are just the averages. Some people last three months, some people last a year and a half. And some, I guess, if they get some divine intervention, maybe make it a little bit longer. Mentally, I'm pretty uh, wiped out because uh, the outlook not looking too good. Not looking too good. So, <clears throat> I got a call this morning telling me that Blue Cross Blue Shield, those wonderful freaking people that collect about $700 a month in premiums, have denied the lawn surf. So now I got to go try to jump through a few hoops to get them to help me stay alive. Rat bastards. And they've done really, really well. I'm not going to knock that uh, for my treatments thus far, but when I see on TV how Blue Cross Blue Shields spent something like $238 million last year, um, whatever they call it, those, those people that are in Washington all the time, uh, you know, trying to convince the government to do things their way. And, uh, I can't even think of a word right now, but I heard that Blue Cross Blue Shield spent about $238 million uh, doing that last year. Yet they won't freaking approve this drug for me. So I'm on my way uh, probably to have my mechanic look at my truck again because it's making some horrendous noises now turning to the right. Then I have to go up to the hospital and sign uh, an appeal form. So they can try to appeal uh, Blue Cross's decision and get them to cover the cost of these drugs. I don't know what it's going to cost, but I've heard uh, 
several people say, well, the cost is pretty high. I don't know what that means. I guess on a good note, I saw Magic Johnson on the Today Show a few days ago. Maybe that's why I had a good day yesterday. He was talking about it was in 1991 that he announced to the world that he had AIDS, was HIV positive. And he said that was a death sentence to him. My freaking chemo diagnosis, or not my chemo, my cancer diagnosis was a death sentence to me. <clears throat> but here we are 28 years later and he's living, as he calls it, a very normal life now because from the time of his uh, diagnosis, uh, there were some breakthroughs and there's meds out there that have kept him alive. I don't know if he's still on meds or not, but he's 28 years into uh, his death sentence. God, would I like to be 28 years or know that I have 28 years to go? It's a whole lot better sounding than talking about months to go. So yesterday I sent a, a message to all of my kids. A message I probably never wanted to ever have to send or ever have to receive from anybody, but tell them about my will. They just uh, re-signed again yesterday, you know, and, and things I was looking for them to do uh, whenever this journey comes to its end. Asking for them to carry on, direct the damn team and, and raising money for Relay for Life because for me it's all about research now. I mean it's just finding finding what, what's out or what, what can be used to, to help me. <clears throat> I mean I my Boston docs wanted me to have uh, another biopsy so they can you know, just take another look at fresh tissue with fresh blood and see if there's anything at all. I mean, the blood biopsy was done 10 days out and I still haven't even got a call about getting the actual uh, tissue biopsy done yet. I think I'm going to call the same local doctor here that did my first one in a year and a half ago and see how soon he can do it and just get the, get the specimens sent to Dana-Farber or wherever the hell they send them. But anyway, I've been in a real downer for the last, well, this whole month of October pretty much. I had a couple of good days. Today it's right back in the doldrums with the wonderful news from Blue Cross, the wonderful news my truck's freaking making again. Hating to want to freaking spend any money to make sure there's enough money to go when, when I go. We'll see. Anyway. I had an awesome call from the most incredible sensey person, one of the most incredible sensey persons I know. Becca called me from Utah as her and her husband Terry are road warriors uh, pretty much for the next month or so and they're traveling all over and, and, and Becca has been such a blessing to me with, with the stuff she posts not just for me, she posts so many good things for all people uh, about your mindset and getting in the right spirit and I, keep, I keep wanting to believe I have faith and I have belief that I'm going to make it through this war and just having a little trouble being on the positive side of that right now. And, and I guess maybe even in believing it right now. So I gotta really work on that because I'm not giving up. <clears throat> um, my 
buddy Doug, I just heard that he has sent me a bunch of uh, his crafts that he made himself, his uh, cancer ribbons to use for uh, my relay fundraisers. So as soon as I, I mean, apparently they're coming in today, I'll post some pictures online and anybody who's seen this that would like to purchase one, I think he said that what he sells them for is 20 bucks a piece. If anybody wants to make a, uh, to make a purchase, 50% uh, of the money is going to go to Relay. And hopefully uh, there's one of those research doc scientists out there that's going to look at my biopsies and just say, oh, damn, there's something we can do. So thanks for the continued prayers and support for everybody. It's, it's just been very tough week, very tough month. Love you guys all. Thanks again. Thanks for all the support. You mean the world to me. Raising money for Relay, for cancer research, means my life to me. Love you all.